Hi, you guys. So I want to show you how you can um, prevent your students from renaming themselves as they get in. Because you might think that what's the big deal, you know, especially if they have the wrong name. But this could cause a bit of a problem if the kids, oh, you see right here, <sighs> one of my students that I let in changed their name to Poopy Pants. So this would be a perfect example of when you do not want to allow them to rename themselves. So let's show you how you can fix this issue so they can't do that. For first, what you need to do is you need to go to www.zoom.com and then you're gonna log in. So you can see right here, I'm already there. Then you need to click on this side right here, you need to click on settings. After you click on settings, then you're gonna come over here and you see where it says in meeting advanced right here. Go ahead and click that and it's gonna scroll you down. And you can see right here, this is where it scrolled me down to, it says in meeting advanced. You're just gonna scroll up a tiny bit from there and right here it says allow participants to rename themselves. All right, and so we're gonna go over here and you can see it's allowing them right now to rename themselves. I'm going to disable that. You want, right when students to come in the room, you don't want them to be able to rename themselves because that can cause a lot of issues. Sometimes students will come in with a certain name and then once they're in, they can change their name to whatever they want and it might be inappropriate. They can change yourself to another student and then they could do something. You wanna know who it was. So I would highly recommend to turn that off. So let's go into a meeting and let's check this out real quick. All right, so now we're in a Zoom meeting right here and you can see I have, uh, I'm in here and then Harley Garcia is in here. That's actually my daughter, but so anyways, so now it's default was set so she can't rename herself right now, which is great because you can see all the students. And let's see if you really wanted a student to rename themselves. You have down here, you can actually turn it back on while you're in a meeting. All you gotta do is click security and you can go to back here and you can click rename themselves. So now that I've clicked rename ourselves, rename themselves, students can actually rename themselves right now. And you can see over here, my daughter already started renaming herself, Harley Garcia. Anyways, so you gotta be careful again because when you give students that power, they might get a little crazy. They might write something inappropriate. Ooh, E, E, oh gosh, okay. I've seen students, um, you know, come in as another student. So you have double students in there. And then if they did something inappropriate, you wanna know who it is. Anyways, because once they get in and start renaming it, they can get a little crazy in there. Oh gosh, so that's a perfect example. I could go back down here to security though, don't forget. And I can go ahead and turn that off. So now she can't rename herself anymore. And I can go up here. And if you click the little more button, I can rename her name and put her back as the appropriate name, okay? So anyway, so that is my two cents on that. And there's my daughter. Say hi, Harley. All right. Oh <laughs> Thanks, God. you guys.